Hello, this is the Hydrogen at the End of the Universe. Um, I'm playing RimWorld. I have zero experience, or I've, I've never played this before. <laughs> I... What, this, this first episode, I'm just gonna click New Colony, which I'm hoping is new game. <laughs> um, so, a friend of mine, I, you might know them as uh, Dyslexic, um, uh, from my Terrier multiplayer series. Um, uh, they gave this to me for, uh, Christmas. Uh, I've been wanting to, I've been unable to find free time to play it for a good little while. Now I have free time to play it and actually record. Um, I'm gonna try and record this. Uh, everything should be working. Yeah, everything looks like it's still working fine. Um, I'm just gonna click new colony. I'm totally gonna fail. Um, uh. You see, I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, classic RimWorld experience. Um, okay. See, I don't know what any of this means, like, at all. Um, I should probably do tutorial, which I'll do, like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run this until it fails. Um, uh. Or at least until in, either until it fails or until the end of this episode. Then I'm gonna run the tutorial. Then, assuming, uh, like essentially, uh, essentially, I'm gonna do the tutorial afterwards, and then so I can look back at myself and go, "Wow, I was an idiot." <laughs> um. Whew. Um. But yeah. I'm gonna click next. Oh. Who is this? Hello. Um, Sandra creates story events on a classic increasing curve. Oh, okay. So these are like. So these are your um, uh, narrators, I guess. Or more accurately, it looks like these are. Um, uh, okay, so these are like. Um, uh, these are just kind of difficulty modes. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Actually, no, wait, that's sandbox mode. Ah, can I unclick? Okay, can I go back? Okay. Um, community builder. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave everything just default. Just everything default. Oh. I, I need to choose a difficulty. Oh! It's like a one thing. Okay, so let's see here. Um, who are new to this kind of game? Who want to build... Okay. I guess I'll do this one. Oh. Um, what is this? So, reload any time. You can save and load at any time. Commitment mode. Ah! Okay, so this is this is essentially no save. Uh, I don't know if YouTube doesn't like that word, but you do it in like Stars and Paradox games all the time. So I know what it, I know what this is trying to prevent, and uh, I'm gonna pretend no. Ah, seed sound. Hmm. What in the world are these? I'm just gonna leave those all at what I'm hoping are default values. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave everything at its defaults. Whoa! Uh... Wow, that's... This is cool looking. I'm, I'm liking this already, jeez! <laughs> um... So, uh... It's like random, I guess? Uh, I don't really want desert. I want something that's, like, not horrible. You know, Temperate Forest is probably going to be, like, best one I can do. Okay. I'm just going to go Temperate Forest next. Uh, colon. Jeez, your parents hated you. Um, colon... Cooper Kissne? 
I'm not good at pronouncing things. Um, so, let's see here. So, we've got... Kind of looks like average 18-year-old. Does have a bit of a scar, uh, apparently. We've got really skinny guy. And we've got elderly woman. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just the default, and I'm just going to leave it as the default. I don't want to mess with any of this on the... Because uh, this is... Uh, if, if it gives me a chance to name any of this, I'm literally just going to name this Doomed to Fail. Because this is this is my first ever time playing. <laughs> Oh, this is exciting. I've never played this game before. Um, okay. The three of you awake in your cryo-sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape co es escape cods, escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you, may you start making plans to survive. Okay, um... Hello. Oh, you have a you have a dog. Um. Uh, can I pause things? Yes, I can. Good space is pause. I knew that for Paradox Games because that's their convention. And I have only just now realized that I don't even know what the controls of this game are. Um. Okay, so it does have some Paradox movement. Although, yeah, it does have some Paradox-ish movement. You can put your mouse in like corners and stuff to move. But actually, no, you can't put them in the corners, but you can put them like on the edge screen to move. Um, uh, can I use... Okay, I can do that. Okay, so I can use WASD and the arrow keys. Um, click. Ultrist. Cave Explorer. Cult Kid. Okay. No, I was gonna try and just like go through and just play until I died. I just realized that this is not the kind of game where you can really do that. <laughs> um, can I exit? Oh, um, uh, save. I'm gonna just keep with this and I'm gonna do doomed to fail. And you know what? I'm going to hold by this and, uh, you, um, log, gear, what is all this? Um, da 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 da, da. draft. Um, I, I mean, we've only got three people. I, I don't think that we can really feel the military. Um, can I collect this? Oh, what, why are they not allowed to touch this? Um, norm? Oh, normal. It's standing for something. Yeah, no, I can't just jump into this, can I? No, I'm... Okay, I saved the game. I'm gonna quit to main menu. Why is it quit... What does quit to OS mean? It's, it's operating system? Why is it quit to operating system? It makes me feel like whenever I quit, I'm gonna, like, somehow enter the console commands of the computer or whatever. I'm just going to click tutorial. Okay. Welcome to RimWorld. This page configures how your world should be ge- Oh. Uh, the default settings here are good. Go ahead and click generate. Okay. Ah. Okay. Please choose a temperate forest site with no hills, light green, with no brown dots. Okay. That is not an ocean, that is a sea. Sorry. Also, that is a good name, ocean. <laughs> Cockroach head. <laughs> um, so just choose deciduous for temperate forest. Then click next. Okay. 
Um, ah. Stop doing that. I'm trying to, ah, okay. Now you choose which characters you want to use. Drag a character from the left behind part of the character list at the bottom into the selected part at the top. Optionally clicking a character will allow you to expect him or her. Okay, that's, so we've got, so I'm gonna move the escape convict down here. Um, uh, and, uh, I'm also gonna move this person away and replace them with, I want, um, I'm gonna take Navy Scientist. Okay, there we go. If you don't like a character, you can ran, you can regenerate them. Quick. Stop doing that! I'm trying to, like, use my mouse to read. Um, but let's see here. So, um... So, I'll... I'll re... I'll randomize... Um, Jafar Jackal Bailey. Um, okay. And now we have... Aspen Gazin Gazin. Um, great. Reorder and randomize more if you want, but don't try and get the perfect characters. Everyone has flaws and makes the story more interesting. You can, and uh, you can also rename the characters by clicking on their names. Okay. Um. I, there we go. I want you to be Levi. I, I, I've known a few Levi's. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't really remember where I first heard that term, but I think it's used in, like, CK3 or something. Levy on mass. But yeah. Levy lost felt. Levy, Levy on mass lost felt. There we go. Um. But sanguine. Oh! Just. Okay, so. Okay, this person. I'm liking this person. <laughs> um. Uh, there we go. Um, generating map. The three of you, I, okay, so that's just the same thing as earlier. Okay. Whee! Okay. Okay. We can pause time. There we go. Okay. Um, you can also speed up time, try controlling with the one, two, and three keys. Okay, so... Oh! Uh, there we go. Um, great, and make a stockpile so your colonists know where to keep items. Click Architect tab in bottom left. Okay. Click the Zone Area category. Select Create Stockpile Tool. Click and drag a square as indicated on map. Okay. Um. So. A little there. Okay. Right click to get out of. So. There we go. Oh! What are all these arrows? Ah. Uh, okay. To allow your colonists to bring your items to the stockpile, you must remove the items forbidden designation. Clicking your allowed, st clicking your starting items to select them. Click the allow toggle button to allow them. Pro tip: double, bleh, double click an item to select all on the screen of the same type. Okay, I'm going to do that. So here we go, and then I can just. 
Oh, I can do architect, orders, allow. Um, so, whoop. and there we go. Click architect, structure, wall, wooden wall, um, drag out four. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, I'm glad that I can, I can use, um, uh, uh, I can click down scroll to, uh, to drag around. I actually like that more. So just... I should probably leave a gap, shouldn't I? No. Oh, I can place a door over any one of the room walls. Um, door. Uh, there is no good symmetrical place to put a door. You made me build it. Too good. Okay, I will put the door in a corner then. Colonists will now build the room. They will need to somewhere to sleep. Put three beds inside the room. Find them in the furniture categories. I can use Q and E to rotate the building. I can't. Oh, I can use it to let me guess. <laughs> Spitty. Um. Go. So torchland. And put it kind of away from everything else because I don't want them burning themselves. Animal sleeping spot there. Um, colonists need sources of recreation or they'll get sad over time. Build a horseshoes pin outside near the room. Uh, horseshoes uh, recreation horseshoes pin. Oh, geez, that's big. Um, can I put it like here? Um, growing zone. So zone, growing zone. Ooh. I should probably allow them to, like, do stuff. Are they going to move everything around? Um, right click to aim. Wow, the music is very loud in my ears. Give me a moment. Jeez. Uh, options. Music volume. Let's turn that down. Okay, that is loud in my ears. I'm pretty sure I'm talking loud enough to be heard over it, but wow, that was blowing my ears out. It's good music. I will say that, but it was a bit loud. <laughs> okay. Um, you're calling us... Have your colonists equip the starting weapon. To equip a weapon, right click a colonist to select them. So, levee en masse. Um, uh, right click the weapon you want them to equip. There. Then I'm going to have you equip uh, this, I guess. Looks like a knife. Um, oh. Yeah, equip knife, and then, uh, and then Piotr, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, sorry. Um, let's see here, do we have any other weapons? Oh, yes we do. Um, Piotr, you can equip the revolver. Thank you. Uh, now you'll need to make it. Ah, I didn't mean to move you over there. Um, now you'll need to make a stove to cook food. Build a fueled stove inside the room. So architect, production, fueled stove. Where does that go? Like 
there, I guess. Um, cooking orders are added on the stove itself. Once the build has been created, colonists will do the work automatically. Wait, the stove has to be built. Click the stove to select it. Um, open the bills tab. Let's click add bill. Select cook simple meal on the context menu. Click the button. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna just speed that up a little. <laughs> um, and then I can. Wait. I can also. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I can select a colonist, so I select Vienna. Um, and I can then right click the stove to prioritize it. Oh, reserved by Piotr. Okay, then in that case. Oh, are you already going there? Oh, yeah, that looks like. Oh, nope. Uh, you just put the materials there. Or are you. Okay, you're building it. Okay, that's fine then. Select this, so doop. Bills. Add bill. Um, and it wants me to cook simple meal. Um So increase it to ten. Designate all oh, okay. Um any colonists will cook some food. Next you'll want to mine some material some minerals. I spawned some minerals. <laughs> some mineable steel near your base. Um, select the mine designator and drag over the steel to designate it for mining. So, mine designator and drag it over the steel. So, like that. Um, Want to harvest some wood, designate some trees to be chopped. So, the chop wood designator. And it's like 10 trees. Okay, uh... This area looks like it has a fair few trees in it. Um... There we go, that should be 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, there we go. That should be 10. Um, you can control which colonist does what kind of work. Open the work tab at the bottom of the screen. Work. Oh, I should probably allow them to do stuff, shouldn't I? Um, you can control who does what kind of work using the checkboxes. Colonists will do tasks in order from left to right. Try changing some settings now. Beware, colonists always follow their work priorities, even if it makes them do dumb things. Setting up a smart work regime is an important thing, is an important skill in RimWorld. So set the work settings carefully and review them often. Okay, so you want me to. Um. So. Uh, do you want me to. What else do you want me to touch? I, I feel uncomfortable touching any of this. Uh. Um, so, so, uh, I'm gonna, just gonna put that back. It's not their greatest skill, but it's probably the closest that they have. And I guess I'll also allow, uh, I mean, a normal, um, will not do, will not do. Will not do. Okay, so did I just do I just have like some very lazy guys? Okay, I'm just gonna uncheck that again. Uh, to advance, you'll need to research new technologies. Build a wooden simple research bench inside your uh, room. Okay, production. There we go. Um, ah, I did not leave myself much room. Um. Okay, it'll be a secretary desk, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, right at the center. Um, open up the research tab. Where is that? Um, 
choose whatever you want to be researched first. You might want to wait for the research bench to be constructed or for trees to be chopped for wood. Let's take, okay. Um, so do you want me to just choose something? Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, so, is this stuff that I can invent, or is this stuff I already know how to do? Um, how about... Uh, oh, that's already been researched. So, like, oh, I already know how to do electricity. That's pretty useful. Um, how about smithing? Smithing seems like something that'll come in handy. Um, next you'll learn to expand the home area. Okay, there we go. Um, so, colonists will clean floors and extinguish fires in the home area only, and ignore fires or filth outside of it. Okay, great. Um, the home area is added automatically when you build things, but you can expand it manually. Select the expand and drag out a new area on the map. Okay. Expand home area. Okay, so you want it to include... Um, so let's see here. Let's do this. This, and then... Oh, that's the area that... Pff, I'm an idiot. Um, fine then, let's make this uh, nicer. Make this all... You know, make this one big square. There we go. Ha. Uh, build roof area defines where your colonists will try and build roofs. It auto fills when you enclose a new room. Uh, select the expand roof area tool and... Uh, okay, so you want me to put a porch, essentially. So you want me to give them porch, essentially. How about, like, uh, that? So, sandbags. So, select sandbags. What is that? Security sandbags. Um, so, you want me to... If I do this, will... Oh, okay. Um, consider using work tab to assign more colonists to construct. Uh, can I can I do that? I think they're all already on construction, right? No, only Pewter is. Okay, that's kind of stupid. Oh, but neither of them will do any, any of it anyways. Come on. Um. Hmm. Can I move priorities? Ah. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Ah! What? Okay. Um, did it pause for me? Okay. There we go. Uh, pause the game by hitting space. Uh, read the red letter in the bottom right of the screen. The center army. Uh, there's a red letter. Um group of pirates from the center army. Okay. The dra draft your colonists by selecting them and hitting the draft command. Okay, so... Uh, like, do I do this? Okay, I can draft them. Right click to send them to position. So you want me to... Uh, okay. Given that they're kind of coming from this angle, I'm going to put them... Eh! Uh, you. Oh, okay. Um, how about... How about like that? Um... So, do I just... So, will you all just hurry over? Okay, uh... Oh! You're coming from that angle? What? No, I thought you were coming from over there! 
Uh, luckily, you seem to just kind of be one guy. Um, please kill him. Uh, so, undraft them. There we go. Um, still tons more to learn. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, do we, you're the only one, um, one sec, work, oh, okay, um, click on the menus, oh, you want me to go here, options, storyteller, um, there, Um, now, can I, um, do we have anyone who can play doctor? How, how do I, how do I do this? I, I have no one who knows how to. Um, please just do it. You're not going to, are you? Um. Ah, so, so, okay. So I thought that they were coming from over here. I think that they're done, because I think it was just the one guy who showed up. Um, whoo. Looks like there's an abandoned fort or something down here. Yeah, I know that the colonists need to rescue, uh, but they, they aren't doing anything to help him. Are you literally just, seriously? Are you actually just gonna leave him outside all night? Um, like, is he just gonna bleed out? Um,. Come on, help him. How do I... No, uh, how do I do this? Like, he's, he's the only one I think who actually knows how to research. I didn't realize you were coming from that direction. I thought you were going to come from the same direction as, like, the red lights were over here. So I figured that... Ah... Like, are you are you dying or are you fine? I don't know. Uh, uh how, how do I? Um, okay. Okay, I clearly am not doing this right. Um, can I? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Piotr. I don't understand this game yet, clearly. Uh, eighth of April, May. What? Do, do we have. Um, I'm trying to. I want to see what the months are, because that's a weird name, and that makes me think that there's other funny names. Um,. Wait, did you not actually... You didn't collect any of it, you just mined it. Can I... Can I like at least fast forward through the night, I guess? Are you gonna die, or... I don't understand. No, he's unconscious. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Medical emergency. Okay, no, he is at risk of death. Uh, come on. There's no one willing to help him. No one is willing to help him. Okay. This should have been named Doomed to Fail. Um. You know what? Sorry, Piotr. Sorry, uh, everyone. Uh. I think I'm just gonna. Pr ah. I'm gonna save this as. 
tutorial. I think I spelled that wrong. No, I spelled it right, I think. Tutorial. Pew. Spelled that wrong. Pew. How do you? How is that spelled? Close. Um, Pewter. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna quickly just uh. Tutorial. Pewters. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Um, so, I guess, uh, how long have I been recording for? I've been recording for a good while here. Okay, so this is basically just the tutorial and me uh, messing around. I guess next week I'll... I'll either record some Terraria, or probably what I'll do is, off-camera, I'll mess around with a new colony for a bit, and just kind of see where I go, um, see what I can do. Um, then next week I'll probably try and record this again for at least three weeks, um, uh, then about, then, then after that I'll probably switch back to Terraria for, like, I'll probably alternate after that. I feel like I should stick to one game for a little bit when it's new, though. Um, makes some sense, right? Uh, speaking of, though, uh, this episode is about over. So, uh, <laughs> um, thanks. I think it's about over. Let me make sure it's been... It has been recording, right? Yeah, it has been. Okay, good. Um, I wasn't certain if it had been. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching. Um... This has been the Hydrogen at the End of the Universe. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, not only not only does it help out the channel, but it's also just generally a nice thing to do. Thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.